What is Kubernetes? Kubernetes, K8S, is an open source system for automating deployment, scaling, and management of containerized applications. It groups containers that make up an application into logical units for easy management and discovery. Container technologies like Docker are allowing for a new approach to the way developers write and deploy applications. With containers, a developer can easily package up an application with all of the parts it needs, including libraries and other dependencies, and ship it all out as one package, but without the overhead of a traditional virtual machine. Containers themselves, and the developer toolchain that make them easy to use, aren't the full story, however. To build complex applications requiring different components spanning multiple containers on multiple machines, you need tools to manage and orchestrate your containers. One tool that is helping to solve the orchestration needs of containerized applications is Kubernetes. Kubernetes is a vendor agnostic cluster and container management tool, open sourced by Google in 2014. It provides a platform for automating deployment, scaling, and operations of application containers across clusters of hosts. Above all, this lowers the cost of cloud computing expenses and simplifies operations and architecture. What is Container Orchestration? Container orchestration is the automatic process of managing or scheduling the work of individual containers for applications based on microservices within multiple clusters. The widely deployed container orchestration platforms are based on open source versions like Kubernetes, Docker Swarm or the commercial version from Red Hat OpenShift. On the need for orchestration. Now, there is an inherent problem with containers, just like there is with virtual machines. That is the need to keep track of them. When public cloud companies bill you for CPU time or storage then you need to make sure you do not have any orphan machines spinning out there doing nothing. Plus there is the need to automatically spin up more when a machine needs more memory, CPU, or storage, as well as shut them down when the load lightens. Orchestration tackles these problems. This is where Kubernetes comes in. Kubernetes Google built Kubernetes and has been using it for 10 years. That it has been used to run Google's massive systems for that long is one of its key selling points. Two years ago Google pushed Kubernetes into open source. Kubernetes is a cluster and container management tool. It lets you deploy containers to clusters, meaning a network of virtual machines. It works with different containers, not just Docker. Kubernetes Basics the basic idea of Kubernetes is to further abstract machines, storage, and networks away from their physical implementation. So it is a single interface to deploy containers to all kinds of clouds, virtual machines, and physical machines. Here are a few of Kubernetes concepts to help understand what it does. Node A node is a physical or virtual machine. It is not created by Kubernetes. You create those with a cloud operating system, like OpenStack or Amazon EC2 or manually install them. So you need to lay down your basic infrastructure before you use Kubernetes to deploy your apps. But from that point it can define virtual networks, storage, etc. For example, you could use OpenStack Neutron or Romana to define networks and push those out from Kubernetes. Pods A pod is a one or more containers that logically go together. Pods run on nodes. Pods run together as a logical unit. So they have the same shared content. They all share the share IP address but can reach other other via local host. And they can share storage. But they do not need to all run on the same machine as containers can span more than one machine. One node can run multiple pods. Deployment. A set of pods is a deployment. A deployment ensures that a sufficient number of pods are running at one time to service the app and shuts down those pods that are not needed. It can do this by looking at, for example, CPU utilization. Vendor agnostic. Kubernetes works with many cloud and server products. And the list is always growing as so many companies are contributing to the open source project. Even though it was invented by Google, Google is not said to dominate its development. To illustrate, the OpenStack process to create block storage is called Cinder. OpenStack orchestration is called Heat. You can use Heat with Kubernetes to manage storage with Cinder. Kubernetes works with Amazon EC2, Azure Container Service, Rackspace, GCE, IBM software, and other clouds. And it works with bare metal, using something like Core OS, Docker, and vSphere. And it works with libvirt and KVM, which are Linux machines turned into hypervisors, i.e., a platform to run virtual machines. So why would you use Kubernetes on, for example, Amazon EC2, when it has its own tool for orchestration, cloud formation? 
because with Kubernetes you can use the same orchestration tool and command line interfaces for all your different systems. Amazon CloudFormation only works with EC2. So with Kubernetes you could push containers to the Amazon Cloud, your in-house virtual and physical machines as well, and other clouds. Wrapping up. So we have answered the question what is Kubernetes? It is an orchestration tool for containers. What are containers? They are small virtual machines that run ready-to-run applications on top of other virtual machines or any host OS. They greatly simplify deploying applications. And they make sure machines are fully utilized. All of this lowers the cost of cloud subscriptions, further abstracts the data center, and simplifies operations and architecture.